What if I told you there's an AI tool that can fix nearly 90% of the bugs and security issues in your apps before you even realize they're there? Especially with AI-built apps, most of us think they're clean, but hidden issues can bring them down fast. The crazy part is, we already have powerful tools like Cursor that help us build apps faster than ever. But here's the catch. Most of us launch those apps thinking they're clean, when in reality, they're full of issues that eventually bring them down. That's why, in today's video, I'm going to show you a tool called Test Sprite, an AI-powered testing platform that integrates directly with different IDEs like Cursor, Visual Studio Code, Windsurf and more, and can test your entire application in minutes, not days. Whether you're a beginner, developer, or someone who relies on AI coding tools, this is going to change how you approach app testing forever. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set up MCP into your ID, run comprehensive tests on both your backend and frontend, and fix critical issues. So let's dive in. The first step is simple. Click the link in the description and you'll land on the Test Sprite landing page. From here, click on, on this Try MCP Free button to start using this tool. You can either install it directly or review the documentation first if you'd like to understand what it does in more detail. As you can see, it promises to handle 90% of testing and security issues for your app. That means instead of spending endless hours searching for errors, this tool does most of the heavy lifting. And honestly, installing it couldn't be easier. All you need to do is click Add to Cursor. Let me show you how I use it with one of my own apps. This is a small app I built that lets users generate social media posts just by using their voice. Pretty cool, right? You just speak and the AI generates a ready-to-post draft for the platform you choose. For example, I can select X or Twitter, hit record, say what I want, and then click generate post. Instantly, it creates a tailored post for that platform. Now, to connect everything, I need to grab my API key. So, I sign into my test spread account, go to the API key section, and click new API key. I'll give it a name, in this case, test spread API, and click create. Once the key is generated, copy it. Remember, API keys are sensitive information, so always store them securely. Then, paste it back into Cursor, hit Install, and just like that, you've installed TestSprite MCP into Cursor. From now on, TestSprite AI Agent can analyze and test your application automatically. It saves you from wasting money on external testers or fixing costly issues too late. Let's put it to the test. I know my app already has some bugs, for example, it isn't responsive, and I'm not sure what hidden security issues it might have. Normally, these things are a nightmare to track down, but this platform's MCP makes it easy. It goes ahead and runs the tests automatically. And L helps you fix about 90% of all errors and security problems before they ever become a serious headache. To push it further, I'm gonna test it by deliberately breaking my setup. I'll start by disabling my API key, just to see how Test Sprite reacts. So instead of entering the real key, I just type some random text here in the .env file and go to my app to try generating a post. Of course, it fails because my API key is invalid, and that's exactly what I wanted to see. Now, since I don't have a valid API key at this point, I move over to the chat inside Cursor and simply tell it to test everything using Test Sprite. Technically, you don't have to mention Test Sprite by name because Cursor already knows which MCPs you've installed. But it's a good habit to include it this way. Cursor easily knows exactly which tool you want it to run. And now, it begins the testing process. It starts working on the task, and it immediately detects the MCP that we have installed in Cursor, starts calling it, and instantly directs us to Test Sprite platform. Next, we're filling in the details what exactly we want to test. In my case, I'm going to test the backend, and here you choose whether your app has authentication or not. In my case, my app doesn't have authentication. Here we check if localhost it detected it accurate. So I check, and the port is set to 5000 173. At this point, you can see it has successfully detected the local host. Now it's asking me to provide a product specification document. If you don't have a product spec, no problem, you can actually generate one. For me, I already have one, but you could simply ask Cursor or any AI tool to create a product specification PDF for you. I entered mine here, and now the process has officially started it's going to handle testing of my entire app. You know, we sometimes build apps and find them working really great, but the truth is every app has hidden issues that you hardly find and sometimes can allow hackers to access user information. 
This testing AI understands your entire code base and gives you a test report which helps you know what problems and where and how to fix them. Here it is testing, generating test files, and setting up everything you'll need. From this step, it begins calling test sprite to generate all the test plans. Usually, it doesn't take long, but I think this depends on your app. Whenever you get a prompt asking for access, just go ahead and allow it. Here, you can clearly follow all the progress in real time. The process moves quickly, it's surprisingly fast and very efficient at testing. Now, the system has finished running the tests and it immediately starts generating a detailed test report. This report highlights the results, including critical findings and all the errors it was able to detect. The reason it's flagging so many issues right now is because, remember, I purposely broke my API key earlier. That's why these API errors are showing up in the report. I can also open the test sprite report directly on the platform and review it there. The tool even creates a report file in MD format. And inside, everything is neatly organized. Every error, every security issue tested and listed automatically. The results are presented in a very structured way. This makes it easy to understand what passed, what failed, and exactly which issues need to be fixed. It also provides clear recommendations for each problem. And the great thing is, you don't have to fix everything manually. You can actually let the AI handle the fixes for you. But for me, I'm not going to fix it right now because I already know the problem. But if you were to fix it, you can actually let the cursor or any AI agent you use to handle the issues for you. And it's very straightforward. You give it the test report generated by TestSprite, and it uses that information to fix all the issues. Okay, that part was about the back end. Now let's move on and test the front end. Here I'm going to check the full user interface of the app, things like layout, button performance, responsiveness, error messages, even how it handles writing and recording. As normal, it starts by analyzing your project and calling MCP to start testing your app. At this point, it picks up whether you're testing the back end or the front end, and it also recognizes the local host. If you haven't provided a product specification, you can just generate one quickly with AI and keep moving. Once I go back to Cursor and confirm all the details, the process begins right away. It starts calling TestSprite MCP, and from there, it creates multiple files to check different parts of the application. The speed is impressive. With a small project, it runs really fast. For me, it's going through 18 different checks. After a short while, it finishes testing my app and generates a complete test report. This report shows exactly which parts passed and which ones failed. When I click through the results, I see that everything actually failed. And when I check the reasons, it makes sense my app has problems in how it loads, and it's so slow that the platform can't even open it properly. There are several issues blocking it from working. In the report, I can clearly see the list of errors along with their severity. It highlights everything that's wrong with the app at this stage. That's why the test failed. Now, I tell Cursor to fix the app using the report from Test Sprite. After running the test again on the front end, things improved a lot. This time, some checks passed while others still failed, but that already shows progress. And honestly, this part is incredible. The tool has scanned my app from top to bottom and tested everything automatically. Now I can clearly see what's working, what's broken, and exactly which areas I need to improve or repair. If there are any critical bugs, TestSprite can even go ahead and fix them for you. All the problems I was facing before are now listed and explained in detail. I get a full description of the test results, along with a proper report that I can use. And if I want, I can share that report with any AI tool I'm using to automatically fix the issues. This is exactly how you can take advantage of Test Sprite. And right now, you can even get one full month free, and I think you don't want to miss out on this free trial. Another feature is testing published apps. You can test your app even after deployment without MCP, because that's how this platform started. But now, with MCP, you get the ability to test your app before deploying it. And if your app is already online, you can still run full tests by just giving it the website URL and if needed, some test login details. From there, it fixes everything automatically. And that's how the platform works. It's simple, powerful, and it saves you a huge amount of time and stress. With MCP, you can test any app or website, find issues, and get organized results that are easy to act on. So if you haven't tried it yet, go ahead and start using it to test your applications. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any problem, please let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video.